What's happening guys? Sean Goodison Productions here back with a brand new video and this time we are taking on Myra Canyon Trail. Anyway, so yeah, this is definitely uh, <laughs> a lot different than running all around in Vernon and stuff and exercising the points that I've already been at before, but this is definitely something new. So, prepare for a lot of footage along the way. So, let's get to it. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm also joined by a lot of friends here today. So, also including someone on a Terlaria Triple X, so, yeah, this should be fun. Yield, huh? Well, that makes me feel better that the legality of having these things is completely all right. That's one last thing I have to worry about. All right, let's explore a different side of BC. Oh? <laughs> And a certain someone's not with us. We also have Okanagan drone photographer with us. Oh, but gosh damn battery dying again. It was a fresh battery too. But then again, it is cold here, so I wonder if that has any influence as to why it died so fast. But that was a fresh battery, so it's slightly worrisome. And now Okanagan drone photographer ahead of us. He finally caught up. And now. We have to get caught up. Oh man. That's a lot to sink in. <laughs> Yo. Oh my goodness, our first great attraction already. Oh, no, that is something to take in. It almost seems too 3D. Damn. Yeah, there's the one bridge. So much good stuff happening in so little time. I'm glad it's mostly flat plain though. I hope. <laughs> That's quite a ways. So just getting a little bit more of a view here. Because while they fix up whatever's going on with their equipment. Oh my. This is what it feels like to go someplace else. <laughs> ah. And this is the best thing about being a first timer too, is that whenever you take all this in for the first time, it's everything to remember it by. Okay, so now that we're back up. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm the last one. Who knew? Yeah, and I don't got a parachute, so. It is wise to exercise extreme caution of how fast I go. There is a lot to take in. Oh, another uh, another scenery that reminds me of uh, going down to the rail trail down by Cal Beach. This is also the same trail that reminds me of Kicking Horse Canyon as you're on your way to Alberta. I like it. Ah, damn. <laughs> There's so much of this to take in. Oh, another bridge. <laughs> this is like the best part already. Usually this best part doesn't come up till like towards the middle or end of a trip. This is beautiful. This would be a bad time to like look back real quick and find out that I go off the, on the wrong side. I shouldn't joke like that, that could actually happen. <sighs> oh, I, well he's actually a lot further back than I thought he was. I thought he was like right up my butt, tailgating me. It's extra cold up here, I tell ya. Elevation, it's everything. Good thing I don't suffer from vertigo, man. I'd be freaking seriously dizzy looking at that. 
Oh, and a rock fell on my head. Who knew? <gasps> tunnel! Tunnel, 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 tunnel! Yeah! Tunnel! Oh, got the drone somewhere. Oh, where's the lights here? There we go. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gonna be waiting a while for the other guy. <laughs> Alright, here we go, another bridge moment. A few moments later. Easily. <laughs> and his name is John C. Oh! You okay? Oh. I'm Spider Man for the moment. Uh, looks like we got ourselves in a bit of a stickly. <sighs> Round, two. <laughs> Round two, he said. <sighs> Where did you land? Like right here, didn't you? Yeah, but you came back, landed right over here. That would help. What? Plug the throttle in. Oh, your throttle is oh, disconnected. <laughs> oh, here I got it. Okay, try it now. Your business. Good to go. <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, now that we got that out of the way. Glad his journey never ended before it began. Well, I'll be gosh damn, I'll go through more freaking GoPro batteries and before this journey begins. But luckily, I have myself a battery bank and my docking station, which has a protrudable USB cable. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of charging and going along the way. But I can't say I didn't come prepared for this trip. I knew that was gonna happen. Colder up on high, higher elevations is always gonna be a thing. But I do not want to miss out on this booty. There's just too much of it. So fortunately I do have another GoPro. Which isn't the one I'm using right now. So if I ever need to in the emergency. I can just pull that out and just record something without commentary. Man this location is something else. I can definitely tell they've been through here because look at the trails. <laughs> Way the hell back there. <sighs> My freaking GoPro batteries are dying faster than I can freaking make use of them.
So yeah, I just want to apologize to my viewers, if any at all, of why there might be a lot of cut content, because I'll be in between charging my batteries and using them, but my batteries, especially my Hero 8, are dying faster, and I have a spare Hero 5, which is actually outlasting my Hero 8, but mind you, it's enclosed and not facing the cold wind like my Hero 8 is. But if there's any cut content, that's why. So I'm going to continue this recording, and hopefully it continues to outlast. Holy crap, I knew that was going to be sooner than I thought. <laughs> Turnaround point will be coming up soon, just because we're out far enough. It's a good thing I brought my battery bank to charge them as I go along because I'm basically filing through my last one and recycling through my first to my last, so this is nutty. Oh, get my goggles on and let's rip it. Uh, but this is so grand right here. Gotta wait to catch up here. So let's do it. Used to a little bit of need for speed. I didn't seem that far away at all. What the heck? So since my Hero 8 can't be outlived by my Hero 5, I'm using the Hero 5 instead. And not plugged in. Unfortunately, if we came out here during warmer conditions, my GoPro batteries wouldn't be dying faster than I can charge them. So, I thought I would just take this moment to sink in the scenery from this camera. And just enjoy the ride for what it is because there's just too much stopping and exchanging batteries. that It's really kind of ruining the scenery for me. So, I'll stop when I can and just get some B-roll footage. So, but this trail is nothing less than amazing. So... These guys are going to get themselves set up, so I just want to take this moment to let this view sink in and let you guys know that I apologize for the lack of footage. I mean, it was going good in the beginning, but then once I got out to like roughly around that area and, you know, getting into the cold wind and stuff, that's what caused my batteries to uh, succumb to the cold senses and die so fastly, even if the ones that were charged freshly just died because it just couldn't put up with the, the wattage and stuff, so... Yeah, I'm hoping to get some more on the way back, but as you can tell, the sun is getting lower, which means this area is getting darker to see, at least in my point of view. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a moment and let this view, gorgeous view, sink in. Yeah, hopefully next time, which will probably be in the spring slash summer, we can probably come back out here and do some more longer recording and stuff. But uh, right now... It's kind of tough given the circumstance that it's cold and my batteries don't last long. So this was the one trip I was sort of preparing for of how to do the recording. But of course, nothing really pans out when it's this cold. So. The stove throttle's not working properly. I guess we'll wait at the tunnel for him. Oh, 
<laughs> That's what I was looking for to see if I could see him. Huh? Mr. Toots? Mr. Toots?